Ronan, and he is responsible for the bachelor programs in uh, ESA, aren't you? So Natasha is the manager of all the international programs in Grantham, IELTS. Well, this is about uh, 20 years now. Uh, we started with uh, two students and uh, currently we have uh, good groups of uh, students moving from France to the Netherlands and back. Well, I think for uh, international students it's always important to uh, uh, just talk the language, just be uh, surrounded by uh, uh, people who will speak this language to them. And is that, if that's in English, uh, it's better to uh, not uh, hang out with your French friends, but uh, to just try and meet uh, international friends so that you have to practice your uh, English all the time. Yeah, so those two pedagogies are a bit different and complementary. So the French pedagogy is more a uh, latent system. So we take the students by the hand. Um, uh, we try to accompany them quite a, bit, quite a lot. Uh, whereas Dutch pedagogy is more oriented towards the, um, the, the responsibility. So for instance, they need to read uh, books or chapter, or chapters of some books before going to the class. So it's more of a um, reverse pedagogy. So you need to take more your responsibilities. So in the end, those two pedagogies are really, really complementary. And I think that's what the students are looking for. And when they speak about it afterwards, they really appreciate it. Uh, I think that uh, students are very flexible and uh, more flexible maybe than staff members who are fixed in a certain system. Students will observe instantly that it's a different system uh, in whatever way, and they are uh, quite well, easy going, and they will just say, okay, this is different, so I will adjust and I will behave accordingly. Students are, are fast learners, I would say, so it's not really problems for them. Uh, it's a, a small uh, town, it is in the rural area, uh, so we are surrounded by colder area, farms, uh, and, and this can be animal or horticulture. Uh, so very much agricultural oriented, that location. Uh, we have a campus with uh, a residence on campus and that creates a very small community, a very strong community, an international community with all sorts of activities on campus. Um, although it's a small village, we have a train station that brings you within an hour to the midst of uh, uh, Amsterdam. So if you want to uh, see something of a bigger city, that's also possible. But in the meantime, it is a very, uh, well, safe and, and good environment, pleasant environment to study. Well, I uh, would advise them to uh, enjoy the program. Uh, of course, study hard, but it's also very much an experience. And it's an experience in the program, but also outside of the program. Uh, and they learn as much outside of the program as inside of the program. So they should benefit from all the chances it offers them to be abroad.